In the last section, we set up our development environment by installing Xcode, the React Native CLI, and set up our first project, which we simply called Weekdays. In this section, we're going to begin developing on this application. Weekdays is going to be a simple application that will, as you might guess, just show us the weekdays. We're going to start pretty simple here. So the first thing we're going to do is look at some of the files that were automatically generated for us when we created our project. At the command line, inside of my project directory, I'm going to change into the weekdays directory and then open it inside of my file explorer. There's a few files visible in here. In this particular section, we're only going to be really concerned with two of them. First is index.ios.js. This is a file where we are going to be writing all of our code for this particular application, but we'll come back to that. Next, inside of the iOS folder, is a file called weekdays.xcodeproj. So let's go ahead and open this by double clicking on it. This is an Xcode project file. So by opening it, we're gonna see Xcode pop up and start to do a little bit of initial processing up here. While Xcode is getting all started up, I'm gonna go back over to my terminal. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in my weekdays folder and I'm going to run npm start. So what this does, this npm start here, is it runs React Native's uh, built-in package manager for us. And what that package manager does is it compiles all of our code and builds an application bundle so that our app can take that JavaScript and run it on our mobile device. But again, we'll talk uh, about that process in great detail after we build this first app. So now that I have my npm start process running in my terminal, and it looks like Xcode is all done with its initial processing. So I'm going to go ahead and up here on the top left, I'm just going to go ahead and click the play button. When we ran the React Native project generator, we got a skeleton of a project, one that we can just immediately run and get off to the races. Xcode is going to take some time to compile it and then automatically launch an iPhone simulator window, which is going to be our application running inside of an iPhone simulator on our computer right here. The iPhone simulator is used to get some really quick feedback when we're developing our app. So as opposed to say uh, pushing a complete build to our mobile device, you know, our, our physical mobile device and testing it out, out on there, which would be really tedious, we get this really handy iPhone simulator here. The iPhone simulator is running a pared down copy of the iOS operating system. So when we do this initial load here, you can actually see uh, some of the settings up here. We could actually go back to say the home screen or lock the device or reboot and so on and so on. It looks like the simulator is done starting up and you can see that this is the uh, skeleton package right here. We get welcome to React Native to get started, edit index iOSJS, which we uh, already saw. So let's go ahead and try that out. Back over my terminal, I'm going to open my code editor. And I'm going to find and open index.ios.js. Let me do some window rearrangement here. Okay, so we're just going to make one tiny change in this file right here. I'm going to scroll down to about line 20 or so. Might be slightly different for you if they ever change the starting template. And inside of this uh, text tag right here, and we'll talk about absolutely everything that's going on inside this file in the coming section, I'm just going to enter a new line here. And we're going to say this is our first app. Next, I'm going to save the file. Then I'm going to click on the iOS simulator to select it. And I'm going to press, as it says right here, Command R. And we see Welcome React Native. This is our first app. Awesome. So we get, this is a very simple demo of one of the most fantastic features of React Native, which is an extremely fast time to make tiny changes to our app and immediately see those realized in the simulator. This is something that if you've ever done like true mobile development, if you've ever uh, delved into um, Objective-C or Swift, 
you know that it takes a pretty good amount of time to relaunch your app. So this is one of the bar none greatest features behind using React Native, and I think you're really going to come to like it. We're certainly going to make great use of it inside of this course. Okay, so this is uh, terrific for our first little start here. Uh, all we did in this section was open up our app inside the simulator, uh, made a small change, and saw that change reflected inside of the simulator. So let's get started into the next section and start talking about the app that we're going to build.